this Lakota nation and all other indigenous nations. Since the English language, this language I'm using, this tongue I'm speaking, came to our land, uh, destructive came with it, such as sicknesses, contamination of the mind, spirit, technology of the different. So there's some good technology and there's some destructive technology. So it's not all of them, you know. And over the decades, my people suffered from that. See? Because they have forgotten, they have forgotten their language and they have forgotten the way to live. See, Lakota people, we know how to live with the ears. See? We know how to live with the ears. And we know where we at. And we know where we are. But since this language I'm using came about, my people are beginning to. It dilute everything. Now they're beginning to lose everything. See? Even my grandchildren, when they go to school, before they go to school, they could speak this language I'm using. English language, see? In my days, no. I don't know how to use this English language. It's just recently, you know, I do, why I, uh, I understand these things is I study these things. I know these things. It's all around me. I'm in the middle of it. See? It's an influential generation. That's what it is. It's been influenced by other things other than Lakota. So now they wanted to be like the white men, to live like them, and they are doing it. Eat like them, and they are doing it. Dress like them, like we are now, and speak like them. <laughs> See? And then they remember, and where am I? Who am I? How far did I drift off? Some cannot do it. Some cannot return. We have many, many young suicide on this Pine Indian Reservation, as well as all reservations. And that goes for all indigenous nations. Because we have lost the way of life. We don't know how to. We are a Lakota, but yet we have, we're trying to have a white man's mind. At all. You, you mix salt and sugar together and what you get. Same thing. See? So that is why. See? The virtues and values are gone from now, all they do is my grandchildren, that generation, seventh generation, is certain where they belong. So they go into gang violence. We are nomadic people. We cannot sit still one place. We travel about. But since the United States government put us here and sit us here for more than 150 years, this is what happens, the result of it. Kill the Indian and save the man. Policy. <laughs> See? And this is what happened here. So now, yes, I said we have to bring the circle to the center, the core. We have to heal ourselves before we could help any others heal. We have to heal. I have to heal 
my grandchildren, my relatives, before I could heal somebody else. I have to heal before I could help somebody healed. See? And these are the very true words here. If we're going to still be a nation, we have to start healing. And you probably, some of the white brothers and sisters that dancing in this and praying in these ways have more knowledge, more knowledge than my grandchildren, my people. See? And that's when I say we have to start healing. We have to bring it together. Or else one day we're going to wake up and there'll be only just Indians. No more Lakotas, no more Sha'ilas, Machpiatros, all this. See? No more of that. They said when the last buffalo falls, the world going to come to an end. We are the buffalo people, buffalo nation. When the last one, they said, falls. Okay, what does that mean? When the last one falls, okay, when the last Lakota language is spoken by the true Lakota. Then it is done. What the world used to be, where the grass and this green is growing. These grow because Wakantaka, the Great Spirit, wants it to grow on Mother Earth. So Mother Earth. Now we're, we're standing and sitting on medicine we don't even know. See? We're not farmers. She already gave it to us. What to eat? See? She taught us Mother Earth has still has compassion, even strip mining and fracking and all this going on, oil well and everything still going on. She still has compassion, so she's still giving these things to us. See? That's why you see her move around every now and then. That's the sign. Those are the signs. But nope, nope. It's okay. Forget it. It'll go away. I'm used to that. You're not going to be used to one day when you woke up. <laughs> you ain't. You're going to run around. Which way do I go? What do I do? You know? So, that is why we ha I said that I have to heal before. Me and my people, we got to heal first again. We've been in a long incarceration and we've been traumatized. abuse, neglect, we've been everything. And while we're in that condition, we're still trying to help others. It is time. Lakota Nation, come back and heal. It's not about hatred and racism. It's nothing about like that. It's about healing. It's about heal. We have to heal. We showed you how to live, walk the red road. You know how to walk the red road. You know, you have a Chanupa. You are a white brother and sister, you have a Chanupa. And now it is time for you to turn around and help pray to heal. <laughs> See? Now if you're feeling bad and they've kicked me out of the Sundance and all this, then I believe in the beginning you didn't come with a true heart. <laughs> If you come with a true heart, you will understand what I'm saying and still continue to help. But if you, don't, if you just come for yourself in a selfish way, it's going to hurt your feelings. See? Yellow. Aho. Watch that.